called a jelly baby. So when your normal assist rig kind of wears out, because you know these do get bitten up, the, the tassels get bitten off, the hooks get worn out, buy yourself a packet of jelly babies and use that as your assist rig on the back of your slider, on the back of your coin drop. The advantage of these things is the high UV reflective content. You can just about see the purple, I'm not sure if you'll see it through the camera, but that's actually just got a little kind of purple UV glow to it. But also these are really strong. These are made of a material that's super strong and it's biodegradable and it's scented. So especially when you're in a situation, in a workup situation or in a situation where the fish are just going off, if you try one of these on a coin drop or a slider, generally you'll catch bigger fish and they last and last and last. So you're going to save yourself some money, you're going to catch bigger fish, they work the best when you're an active feeding fish. So these are jelly babies, all available at Top Hatch. So I recommend if you're into slider fishing and coin drop fishing, you try these out and give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so this is how to rip, put your jelly baby onto your coin drop or your slider. Really simple, but I'll show you anyway. Once again, make sure you get the coin drop around the right way. That's the front, that's the back. Poke the leader through. And real simple, get your jelly baby, tie that on with a uni knot, four turns is enough. Once again, I'm using 20 pound or 30 pound leader. One, two, three, four. Pull it up tight, trim the tag end off. And there you have a coin drop with a jelly baby on it. And that would be one of my fav favorite, favorite rigs is that color combo there. This red glitter jelly baby really is a great performer. I'd like to shout to you in the water, actually, to see if we can get some UV glow happening. Oh yeah, doing it. Okay, I get a lot of people asking me, what's the correct technique to use sliders, to use coin drops, how do you use them, because, you know, it's a bit of a weird looking lure really. Um, the way I've found the best set works, and before I start, you know, try different techniques yourself. This is how we discover new things. It's, there's no hard and fast rules. This is just my advice on what works for me. So, all I do, is drop to the bottom. Oh, before I say that, try and use a bendy rod. Rods with a lot of bend in the in the tip uh, slow the action of the lure down so it doesn't jerk around. And snapper don't like jerky movements, they like it slow. So this will help you catch more fish. This is the Ocean Angler Bender, which is actually designed for fishing. Hang on, I got it caught in my foot. <laughs> So this rod is actually designed for fishing sliders and coin drops and any other type of sliding lure. So you drop to the bottom. I prefer to use an overhead reel. The reason being is you often get hit on the drop and so you can detect it when your line's going down with an overhead reel. So all the way to the bottom, as fast as I can. I want to get it down there because that's where the snapper lives. And then if you think of the snapper um, as a kitten and you're trying to tease them up off the bottom, remember snapper call the bottom home. They get nervous as they come up off the bottom. So by dropping your lure to the bottom and then winding up slowly, you're teasing them to come up and bite the lure. So it's on the bottom now. That's so all I do is I wind the reel about one turn per second. And I just wind, wind, about five times. Two, three, four, five. I had a little bite after about one turn then, so I'm going to go back down again and try. If I, so he, he, that fish came up off the bottom, then he piked out and went back down to the bottom. He didn't chase it up very high. Maybe he's still there. Not there. So a very simple technique. Try not to do um, fast movements like this. It's not jigging. It's Kabura fishing. Drop to the bottom, hit the bottom, wind up about one turn per second, use a bendy rod, and when you get a bite, which hopefully we'll show you later, 
when you get a bite, just wind a bit faster and lift the rod to set the hook. So that's how you do it. Real easy way to fish.